What's up everybody, it's y'all's boy from down south. We got ourselves a new video update of our panther ants. In today's video, we're gonna see the growth from simply one worker to at least five workers. Be sure to stick around to the end so you can see all the fun. Um, all those cocoons right there, I can tell you right now, they won't be there in the end. Here's the first nanitic carrying two of the eggs. The first genetics will always stay behind and take care of the young. And you know, they don't have any experience or anything like that, so they're just gonna stay behind. Velosa queens are very adapted to hunting on their own, so they don't need any help for a while. Now at this moment, I wanna ask y'all, and y'all be doing me the greatest honor in the world if y'all can scroll down there and give me a like. Any advice that y'all have for me, Considering that I am a noob and I am no genius, so any comment that you guys can put down there for advice or anything like that, I'd be the most humblest and honored person on earth. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It would definitely help my channel. Everybody would feel much more better. Of course, me, I'd be so honored. The first three workers came out relatively quick, one day after another, but the other one took a really long time. I think it was February the 15th that the next ones came out. Look how all the workers are facing the entrance of the hole, protecting the queens while they go ahead and groom themselves. Okay, yeah, she's just showing off here. In my last video, I told y'all about my oldest colony and how it was just a single queen with a worker and a cocoons and some larvae. Well, I guess she had mites or I'm not really sure what happened. She was in an old tubs and tube setup, but she since then has passed away. This is a type three fortress from Tar Hill Ants. At the top, it has a hole. Um, I guess it's made for a nest mate. And for these species, they don't drink from the nest mate. I had been using that hole to feed them cricket legs and chopped up roaches and different things. And as a result, it worked out perfectly for the cocoon and the larva that were left over from that one queen. If you notice, there's three cocoons on the top right there. One of them is the boosted cocoon. Um, I didn't get to film that by the time I had got the camera in position and everything like that, they had already put it there. And as expected, they accepted the larva right away. I became alarmed when I saw her twitching like this. Um, this was just moments after they had brought in the larva down. And um, I wasn't really sure because I didn't know why the queen died. So, but I guess it all worked out because it's been many weeks and they're all still doing fine. Now at this point, all the cocoons had hatched except for the boosted ones. And now that I think about it, the boosted one might have already hatched and this could just be one that was just still uh, developing along the way. Look how dry the eggs looked. It had been a few days since I had checked up on them on water and they were very, very, very low, probably too low. Here's a beheaded cockroach that I threw in, in there and Look how hard of a time she has stinging this thing. That just shows their inexperience. 
However, she eventually gets it under control and manages to drag it down to the bottom. This was the last meal for at least 10 days I had left out of town. I had my wife giving him water during this time and I had left a healthy cricket roaming the outworld so that way they can hunt it later on. And of course I left some sunbursts for them to drink later on, um, just a little bit, not much. All right, everybody, it's about that time. Please smash that like button if you liked what you saw. Leave a comment if you know the species of these roaches. And I want to thank everybody who has subscribed so far. I can't believe I'm almost up to 70 subscribers. And for everybody else, I want you all to sit back at the end of this video and consider, why have I not subscribed? That was a really good video. So that's what y'all got to do for me tonight. It's okay if you don't, I know. I didn't tell y'all I was gonna be homework in the beginning of the video. Everybody, once again, it's y'all's boy from down south. Keeping it real, peace out.